Good morning. This is David Johnson from Hitech Global Solutions. Today I shall provide a very brief overview and review of Hypersizer, the preliminary interface and its capabilities. More detailed tutorials will be included at a later date. The current screen shows the Hypersizer website owned by Collier Research. Hypersizer is primarily a structural analysis tool with an emphasis on optimization for both composite and metallic structures. The embedded analysis modules can accommodate stiffened panel and honeycomb panel designs. Also, Hypersizer integrates with software package tools such as Nastran and Katia. This product is unique in that the structural analysis can accommodate the majority of aerospace industry detailed analysis techniques, such as crippling, panel buckling, and strength analysis. Another unique aspect of Hypersizer is that it includes composite manufacturing and layup options in the analysis optimization process. Boot Hypersizer into a new project and you will see the Hypersizer project setup form. This is where we set up and store both FEM and non-FEM databases. This form also includes the material properties for both composite and metallic materials. The primary menus are on the left hand side. The menu on the top is to manage templates, clean up databases, include plugins and define your default analysis methods. This will be discussed in later videos. The best analogy for Hypersizer is similar to a Tesla car. Powerful and full of features but when you open the hood you can't see the engine or the batteries. This is because the Hypersizer forms and menus don't easily or fully expose the inner workings and detailed analysis features. This is why Hypersizer requires a significant amount of training and use before the user becomes proficient. I have used this software for 10 years and I still use less than 50% of the features on a regular basis. Also, corporate best practices must be embedded into the template to gain analysis consistency at your corporation. Let's first review the material menu in the project setup form. For this overview, we will look only at isotropic metallic materials. Composites and layups is a special topic we can review later. Open the material form and we see many tabs. Strength, stiffness, strain allowables, thermal, adhesive properties. Note that Hypersizer allows the user to enter properties at any temperature to determine the use of the correct allowables at elevated temperatures. This data is comprehensive. The analysis you conduct will determine the amount of information required in these tabs. A useful feature is that you can easily change between imperial and metric units. Now let's take a quick look at the FEM project form. This is used to import existing finer element models. The setup form requires two files if using Nastran. The bulk data file, i.e. The, the model file. The FO6 file, i.e. the results file. And we can add multiple FO6 files with thousands of load cases if required. Before importing, we validate the analysis defaults, i.e. buckling and ultimate factors. We also validate the import options. On most occasions we only import shell elements, bars and beam elements. This is for skin and stringer structures. Hypersizer does have the capability to import solid elements. The load set form shows the load sets including load type and factors applied. The load case form can be a combination of the load sets and the unit form validates that we choose the correct units, i.e. imperial in this case. Notes, summary and CAD interface tabs will be covered later in a more detailed tutorial. 